Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, I've been given this small little plot to do with as I wish. And I want to turn it into a market garden so that I can plant and harvest and take my vegetables or fruits to the, <coughs> excuse me, to the market. So, um, I want to dig maybe a couple of inches deep and layer it, layer it with decomposing branches and uh, tree stumps if I can find any. But there's a lot of branches. So, um, then I'm going to layer it with some soil uh, mixed with some compost that I've been composting here. There's some fresh compost in there. But this is some compost that I've been working on for the past month, I would say. That's a big pile and that's a small pile. So hopefully I'll, I'll mix that together. So after I took a, a few soil samples and realized that the soil is heavily compacted it is very hard um, clay let me show you one like you know I mean it rained a couple of days ago so I decided this would be the perfect time but as you can see, well, this one has a few roots, but that's pretty much it. Um, it's heavy clay, so I've started to experiment with this method that I learned online called lasagna gardening, which uh, you dig, I've dug about 20 centimeters down, and then uh, slowly layer it. So, for my first layer, instead of soaking the cardboard boxes by holes, I had no holes anywhere nearby or that it won't reach. So what I'm doing is folding up the cardboard boxes and soaking them in water that I have in a large bucket. For my second layer, I'm adding decaying branches that are plentiful as still part of the second layer I'm adding in a few dead tree husks that I've peeled off from my dying tree with the small spaces I'm filling that up with small sticks so that I have three different textures of decaying wood here you can see me chop it up getting my little exercise in for the day and for my third layer I'm laying down some fresh cut grass that was cut from the pasture. I'm making sure that I spread the fresh cut grass evenly, plopping it to achieve soil aeration. After the first three layers, I make sure that I water. And for my fourth and fifth layers, I'm kind of mixing aged manure and the original clay soil. There's a lot of aged manure because the village that I'm residing in, it's very famous for its herding of cattle. As you can see, my friend Mubarak bring it in the aged manure. I go ahead by mixing it up
After the pores and the base layers, I make sure I water it real well. To begin the decomposing all those different materials. For the sixth layer, I have a little hay over here, a little hay over there. And not forgetting to make sure that I fluff up all the hay. It has been piled up in a shed for a while now. And for my seventh layer, I have a mixture of aged manure mixed with the original clay soil. And also adding water to it so that it's well hydrated. Yes, because what I'm trying to create is an ecosystem down below. And for my eighth layer, I'm adding my compost for my kitchen scraps plus aged manure plus soil. And I'm bringing them in with buckets and spreading them out on top. Here is my little nephew running with a water pump. He's been very motivated to help me and I've been teaching him about the importance of growing your own food. And behind him, I'm scattering sorghum seeds. I want the sorghum to grow to kind of help the soil. And after covering the ninth layer, I'm telling my friend we're almost finished. And once again, hey, hey, all the way, my tenth and final layer, making sure I flop it so that the soil can breathe as it decomposes and adds nutrients and i just want to thank my friend mubarak for helping me with this project his help was priceless i couldn't have done it without him um digging up that clay was super super hard on my lower back and I want to say thank you very much for watching.